Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Austin. This is Gun in 60, and this is my GR86. In my last video, I shared how much I loved Beadmaker, that I was in love with it, that it was amazing. I used it on my WRX, I used it on my GR86, and this has turned into Dust Maker. So I just wanted to see if it was just me. So I actually end up washing the car and I'm going to be applying it again. Uh, the challenge that I've had with Bead Maker and some of the other drying aids, because that's really how I was using it, I really don't look at Bead Maker as something that's going to provide a lot of protection because it won't. I really liked it for its gloss, for its slickness, and for the ability uh, to dry it. So I just wanted to do another rinseless wash. Uh, in this video I've done absolute rinseless wash. Right now I'm using DIY. Uh, detail, uh, but I just want to go over the car again just to make sure because I do live in Utah It does get dusty at times. I've cleaned out my garage the best that I can and You know, unfortunately it just happens from driving around from different things But what I know maker after using it is I loved it I have nothing but awesome things to say about it from the application process But what I noticed is the car has just really collected a lot of dust I mean this is this is just a few days worth of dust that was on the car on what you guys saw at the start of the video and so I just wanted to kind of reset see if it was just me see if you know maybe for some reason it was just super windy that day or dusty or whatever over those last few days but a lot of people what they'll do with bead maker is they'll make what they call clean maker and that's from a couple youtubers that found out that if you put Dream Maker and Bead Maker together, the right combination. It actually works even better and it doesn't attract dust. So this product might work great for you. I'm not saying that if you use it, it's going to attract dust. Uh, depending on where you live, depending on conditions, you might be just fine. But for me, I just noticed an overwhelmingly increasing amount of dust on the car when I used it versus when I didn't use it. And, you know, since this video, I've, I've tried Adam's uh, Slick and Slide. I believe is I've kind of got to learn a little bit more about detailing products. Some manufacturers use the same uh, company. You know, I've, I've understood that the Obsessed Garage is drying aid as well as uh, Topper is basically made in the same place as Adam Slick and Slide. I really like Slick and Slide. I thought it was awesome. I didn't like it as much because it stained my towel. It left kind of a residue. But Beatmaker, I was just awesome from the smell. Just worked great, looked great, the gloss levels were insane, but I noticed a much higher increase in dust on my car after using it. And so I just wanted to give it another chance, just see if anything improved. And if you guys are using this product and you like it, keep using it. I, I think it also might just be where I live, and that might just be, you know, something that uh, is caused by where I live and that it's just dusty where I'm at here in Utah, which is true. But I just, I, I just didn't like how, how much dust it attracted. But the gloss levels and just being able to dry the car is just sm so smooth being able to do it. But what I don't need and what I don't like is having an unnecessary level of dust on the car. So uh, it's been a great product. I probably will continue to find applications and ways to use it. It's very friendly for glass and different things. And you can just see you know, how easy this is to dry off of the car as I'm trying to film this. But it does such a great job at, as a drying aid, gloss levels. I think if you're at a car show or you just need to show off a car for cars and coffee or something, washing it that morning, throwing on a little uh, bead maker on it, I think goes a long ways and just makes it look really, really good. But what I found is I dried off the car and I gave it some more time. You guys will see at the end if if it increased in terms of dust, if it didn't, uh, you know, maybe it was just kind of a fluke, but uh, I really do like the smell of this product. I really like Bead Maker. I don't want to make this seem like a hate video. And if you guys are out there and you guys use drying aids or if you use Bead Maker, have you had this issue? Is it just me? Is it my climate? Is it where I live? You know, there's a lot of factors, so I don't want to just rag on a product because honestly, I've loved everything about this product, but I did notice that I had an increasingly uh, amount of dust on the car as I let it sit for just a couple days. Uh, a couple days I didn't drive it, came out, and it had a layer of dust on it. And uh, you know, when I when I used Beadmaker the first time, 
I actually went over and washed my GR86 as well just because I love the hydrophobics of just being able to dry it off really easy. I love the gloss level. I love the smell of it. I just really enjoy detailing my car with it. And so uh, the WRX sat and uh, the GR86 I did drive around for a little bit. But for it to collect that much dust, uh, I was definitely uh, a little disappointed uh, in it. But as I used Adam Slick and Slide, I noticed I had the exact same problem, the exact same amount of dust, so it might just be drying aids. Maybe it's not the drying aids, maybe it's just where I live. But uh, if you guys have a drying aid you like, or if you have a product that you like, that I should check out, I'm normally not done drying aids, especially on a ceramic coated vehicle, like my WRX, which it is, it's ceramic coated with Avalon King uh, Armor Shield 9. But if you guys use a drying aid, or you have one that you like, or if you had similar experiences with Beadmaker, or if you haven't, please leave a comment below. Uh, you know, I am not a professional detailer by any means. I'm a weekend warrior. I love buying detailing products. I love trying out new products. I love just kind of seeing how they perform. I love the smell of products. I just, growing up, I would always go to AutoZone and what I would do is, you know, I'd go drive over, listen to some music, uh, grab a drink, and I would go buy a different detailer. I'd buy a different car wash soap. I would buy you know, a different air freshener or something that just I've always loved to do. It's always been something that is relaxing for me. So from that standpoint, I got a lot of satisfaction on using Beadmaker, and I still do to this day. And probably to be even more fair for a test, I probably should, you know, once the Beadmaker wears off, which probably a couple weeks, few weeks, wash it, see how much dust collects on the car. Uh, once Beadmaker's kind of wore off, see what the dust levels look like wash it, then apply bead maker, you know, and do the same and see what it looks like after a few days to compare. And uh, maybe that's more of a way to do a true test. But uh, after using bead maker, wanted to wash it again and uh, apply bead maker, which we did, and are just getting done uh, wiping it off here. And here in a little bit, uh, you're going to see what the car looks like after uh, I got it dry, after I let it set for a few days. Just so you guys can see if it kind of did the same thing again or if it didn't and uh, I'd love your guys' opinions on it. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and skip more towards the end just so you guys can see the final product and I would love to get your guys' take on uh, if this is normal, if it's not. If you guys have this issue, leave a comment below if you have a way to fix this. Maybe, you know, maybe it has something to do with my rinseless wash and mixing in with, you know, something like bead maker. I don't think it does. Uh, if you guys have used Clean Maker and you used Bead Maker before and had dusting issues, but Clean Maker fixed it, please let me know that as well. And uh, you know, leave a comment below. I'd love your guys' thoughts. But let's go ahead and skip to the end here, and you guys will see the final result. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know your guys' thoughts.